Welcome to Upvoted No Sleep, where OP Lishan Sarpadon writes, We made a huge mistake. We just thought that it would be a fun idea, I, I, I promise. Me and my roommate Nolan, we like collecting random weird stuff. Nolan likes thrifting and dumpster diving. I like building stuff in the garage or collecting weird trinkets. If you had asked me a week ago what the worst thing we'd ever found when looking through the garbage was, I would have told you that it was like a bag of dog That was until we found these things. It was a few days ago, and me and Nolan were cruising through some local alleys in my car, looking for treasure. We'd found a few small things, some cool old plates, a busted painting, a nice wooden side table, a good haul, more or less. We were driving behind a strip mall, passing some dumpsters, when Nolan grabbed me by the shoulder. Dude, look, he said, pointing to a dumpster just ahead of us, where a set of white feet were poking up from the top. I immediately pulled the car over and parked it in front of the dumpster. We got out, hopped up on the ledge of the dumpster, and peered inside. Mannequins. Sick. I grinned. You think we can fit them? Nolan asked, looking at me. Oh, we'll make them fit. Here, you fish them out, I'll go make space. I said as I stepped down and popped the trunk of the car. I moved the few things we had found so far into the trunk and pointed out that the mannequins could be stacked horizontally in the back seat. There were three of them. Definitely not brand new, but not too bad for a dumpster find. A few scuffs and scratches here and there, but it wouldn't be a problem. This was a good enough find to make us return home satisfied with our catch, which we did. We unloaded and stacked everything in the garage and brushed off our new treasure. The mannequins. What should we do with them? Nolan asked. We both pondered for a moment. You know what would be hilarious? I started. What if we put speakers in them and made them say creepy stuff to scare people? Oh, it's genius. Nolan smiled, nodding his head. We spent the next hour or two cutting holes in the backs of the mannequins' heads and taping some small Bluetooth speakers into them. We found an app that would let us broadcast our voices from our phones directly to the speakers, so we spent the rest of the afternoon playing around with that until we got bored. So we sent a few pictures and videos of them off to our friends, who all thought we were crazy. Our other two roommates weren't thrilled at the idea of the weird-speaking mannequins being part of the household, but we waved them off and we told them that they would get used to it. I wish we'd listened to them. It was the next morning as I was having a cup of coffee and browsing Instagram at the kitchen table, and Nolan came into the kitchen, laughing as soon as he saw me. You got me good with that one last night, he said. Huh? The man again you put outside my bedroom door, it is real spooky. That wasn't me, I said. That must have been Amy or Sonny. Those are our other roommates. Yeah, sure, whatever. I'm going to get you back, though. Just wait. Nolan said with a dismissive wave of his hand as he took a cup of coffee for himself and went back upstairs. That day passed as any Saturday would, mostly doing nothing, a bit of cleaning around the house. Later in the evening, we'd invited a couple of friends over so that we could crack open a few beers and have a fire in the backyard. We showed off our mannequins, and everyone hated them, except for me and Nolan. We didn't really care, though, but we put them back inside so that they wouldn't bother people too much. I'm going to the bathroom. Anyone need anything? I asked, standing up from the fire. One or two people wanted beer, so I nodded and went inside. The bathroom door was slightly ajar and the lights were off, so I figured nobody was in there. I pushed the bathroom door open and I gasped, jumping back suddenly as I saw one of the mannequins standing in the middle of the bathroom. Boo! Came a voice from the speaker in its head. Oh, God! I said, as my fright turned into laughter. I picked up the mannequin and I carried it into the living room. Put me down, put me down, the mannequin cried as I carried it. Unhand me, Rylan. Shut it, Nolan, I said as I propped the mannequin in the corner of the living room. I went back outside with the requested beers and flipped Nolan off as I stepped down from the deck stairs. He laughed and waved me off. We spent the rest of the night drinking and laughing. The fire was turning into coals and Most of our friends had left by about two in the morning. I finished my final beer and I told everyone goodnight as I chucked the can on our pile of empties. 
I stumbled back inside and pushed my bedroom door open. I was too drunk to be scared this time, so I merely chuckled to see all three mannequins lined up on the far side of my bed. One of them had its arm extended, the hand gesturing to the bed. Sleepy time, said one of the mannequins. I sighed and I moved all of them back out to the living room, wondering if rescuing these things was going to be more of a hassle than it was worth. I went back to my room and I closed my door and I crawled into bed, falling asleep to the peaceful hum of the air conditioning. And that was an upvoted no sleep story by O.P. Lishan Sarpedon. But it's not over. Be sure to come on back for part two tomorrow. Sweet dreams. <laughs>